Welcome to the WACS Daily News. In addition to providing essential services with fires and medical emergencies, the Attleboro Fire Department now has to grapple with providing those services during the outbreak of the coronavirus. They've put in place special measures to help deal with the virus. We spoke with Fire Chief Scott Lachance and Paul Jakes of Attleboro Firefighters Local 848. One of the most important things uh, for people to realize is that there's a lot of a lot of decision making and a lot of planning that goes on behind the scenes um, that we're doing every day um, in response to this, and it takes a lot of people. So this isn't one person making these decisions. You know, as a chief, I get to work with um, you know people here in the city. I work with state legislators. I work with the mayor. You know, keeping him updated. Personnel. Um, I work with local fire chiefs. I work with all of the surrounding communities. And you know, probably the, the biggest help is locally at the local level. I work with the you know, firefighters, our offices, the union leadership. So you hear President Jakes is here with us today. So this is a collaborative effort. Um, this is one of those times. It's something that I think that separates the fire service probably from every other industry in the world is that we excel at working together because we rely on each other and we rely on mutual aid for everything that we do. Uh, I think the biggest challenge for us um, at the local level here in Attleboro is that the volume, um, what we're starting to see is an increase in the volume of these cases. Fortunately, they haven't been, uh, the majority of them not very ill, but we do have an increase in ambulance transports for patients that probably are going to test positive for COVID-19. Uh, we've had somewhere around um, 30 addresses in the city that have confirmed COVID-19 uh, patients, a couple of them are nursing homes, so that creates some challenges for us because of the population. There's a big population there, um, and it makes our responses a lot more difficult now because we have to assume um, that those locations have multiple patients that are positive. So the struggle for us all is the protective equipment that we're trying to ensure that we have enough PPE so that the first responders who are out doing this every day have the equipment to keep themselves as safe as possible. Um, you know, with all first responders certainly understand that it's a dangerous job. They get, you know, they risk their lives every day. It is what we all do. Um, and in a situation like this, it's really paramount that we do everything we can to give them the equipment so that they can do it as safely uh, as possible. But I, I can show you that we're working together. The community's working well. We're working with the local hospitals. Uh, we do have plans in place, um, you know, what we're going to do with the fire department if and when people get sick. Uh, we just recently did place five firefighters in quarantine is uh, precautionary. Um, hopefully they don't contract the virus, but in a, you know, just to be cautious, we've keep them away from the firehouse for the next 14 days to ensure that it doesn't spread throughout the department. Those are the kinds of things that we are trying to figure out what we're gonna do if we have it spread to the fire department, how we're gonna continue to, uh, to respond to calls. Uh, my name is Paul Jakes, uh, president for Attleboro Firefighters Local 848. I'm also uh, the uh, legislative agent for the Professional Firefighters of Massachusetts, uh, PFFM. Uh, here in Attleboro, uh, we have a great group of firefighters. I mean, uh, we can't stress that enough. The camaraderie, the team effort approach uh, between the firefighters, Chief Lachance in the city uh, has been um, unfounded. It's amazing what's really happening behind the scenes. We've implemented uh, many different things uh, in conjunction with working with the chief, fire chief Lachance, and um, put additional rescues in service, um, increased our PPE, a lot of companies have stepped up in Attleboro. A lot of individual citizens have stepped up and donated uh, countless amounts of uh, PPE that we use on a daily basis now, and we truly appreciate that. You know, we have the N95 masks. We have surgical masks. We have eye protection. We have uh, latex-free gloves. We have Tyvek suits. Those are the uh, core things that protect us uh, when we go into a coronavirus incident. On a side note, too, local businesses are hurting every day, all the restaurants, the server industry. Um, we've been reaching out as Attleboro Firefighters Local 848 to these communities, uh, to these different restaurants, and uh, buying gift cards and purchasing meals from them to help, uh, help the economy in that way. Uh, they've been in return great. A lot of places have been stepping up and dropping off food and, and things to the firehouses every day uh, so we can eat in between our busy days. So it's, been, uh, it's just been an outreach uh, for community support. It's been uh, phenomenal and really working together on all fronts. Once again, like I said, can't stress enough the uh, collaborative effort between Fire Chief Lachance, uh, the memberships of Attleboro Firefighters Local 848, uh, the city, and most of all, the community. Just the uh, outreach and support uh, has been uh, very humbling and uh, thankful. And um, just uh, advice is just to follow all the CDC precautions, the social distancing, uh, stay at home, and uh, just spend some time with your loved ones. That's really what's important right now.